Hey, what's up guys? JD Everything here. Back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an LED bottle light or lamp. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get our parts or components. Is The first thing is we need some type of uh, container for our light and our this is like a, a pre-made container I've already done with a hole for my light and this is just a, a container I got some, some for somewhere then uh, the next thing we need is a bottle I'm using five uh, bottles for my project for my five different lights We also need some kind of cutting tool for the, just basically for the hole that I made here for my light. And the LED light. So I've already made uh, this. I've already made this light. So it's basically just a few LEDs in parallel in this, uh, in this circle wrapped up to a three volt battery. I already made this so it's pretty simple to make. If you don't have this or like this container, you can just get uh, two uh, AA batteries, some LEDs, and you can easily make that. The next thing we're also going to need is a glue gun and some hot glue, a hot glue stick. And our last kind of part is uh, food coloring and paint so the paint is both for the uh, container and the, the coloring of the light and the food color is just for the coloring of the light so let's get started so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint my my container and then I'm gonna start working on everything else also the way I am gonna have uh, I'm making this is this is going to be like this, and this is going to be glued onto here. Now, there's a problem with this design a little bit, but what I'm saying is like because the switch is going to be under here, so I'll have to take it off each time. And if you don't want to do that, what you can do is uh, make another hole and just put the switch like uh, over here. So that's pretty simple. The color scheme I'm using for my container is blue and orange. Let's get this started. And this paint is acrylic paint. And while we wait for the paint to dry on uh, our container, let's work on the, the coloring of the lights. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is fill all of our bottles up with water. To about, about right here is probably good. And just want to seal that and just keep on doing that until you have the number of bottles that you're going to color and the coloring process goes something like this so you get your bottle food color gonna use red for this first example 
It's and you just want you want to experiment too. Let's drop one drop of that in there. You just want to shake it up. Yeah, you also want to just experiment with the color too. And the best the best way to see if you're gonna if you're really gonna uh, like the color is to actually get the light right. So I already have my light made and just put it in there. And also do a, a dark test. So you're gonna be using the lamp maybe in the dark. So you're gonna wanna if you can just focus. There we go. Uh, do it in the dark and just like see how it looks around you if you like the color. I think this needs to be a little bit more red. So I'm gonna add more food coloring. And after I've added a little bit uh, more food coloring, it gives it more of a orange color. You can't see it as well as can, but this is really orange. Maybe this is a better angle. Yeah. And also, as I said earlier, if you don't have a color uh, in food coloring, like I had, uh, I didn't have blue. So I'm gonna use some acrylic paint and water and just experiment with the with the ratios until I get it to a, a good color. That's basically all you have to do. If it's too dark, if it's too like uh, clouded, you can uh, add more water, like spill some out and add more. So I'll show you that real quick. So this is what it looks like so far. And let's see. The light on it. I think this is gonna be a good color, but let me test it in the dark. I think I like this color the best actually, so far. I think it could use a little less blue though. Like more water, so I might add a little bit more water so I can get a nice, more thorough, thorough uh, glow. So once you've got your water, your bottle, and the food coloring, or the or the paint for the in place of the food coloring, you can, and you already painted your containers and everything, if you want to paint them. Next step and is to put your light in, or you could have already put your light in before, I'm just doing it the, as the last step, because like how the way because of the way I designed it, it's just easier easier for me to do it on the last step. And now that's done, you can test it until the light comes up. Okay, now the next step is to get your... Well, you've already done this. It just depends on the container you use. So you put that in like this. And now you're ready to... Wait. Turn this light on, and now you're ready for this to get started. 
finally. So after this, and this is the finished product. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Let's try it with some different colors. Yellow, red, orange, kind of. Yeah, the red kind of got orange, so if you use, if maybe if you use paint, because I like the way paint disperses the, the color. Uh, you can use paint for the red or any color. It just depends on what you want. For this, I, I just tried to use uh, full coloring, but you can experiment. So yellow again, and green. And let's see if we can get the full effect when we turn off all the lights. So this is the... This is a regular clear water bottle, how it looks like. Let me take this off the tripod real quick. This is the orange-red bottle and how it looks like. This is the blue which I still think looks the best. It's pretty cool. The yellow, which also looks pretty cool. And the green, which is more like a cyan color now. So like you, like I said, you might also want to add more food coloring or use, change it the, to paint that you feel that you put in the water. So this is pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Like, if you make this, can you please uh, leave a comment on like how you made it? If you have any problems with it, uh, leave a comment. I'll get right back to you. I'll tell you like uh, what to do. Uh, if you like this video, like it. Um, Subscribe for more, more videos coming soon, and bye!